right, so we're going to install Peeps to Go on our MacBook Pro here. And just like we did with installing it on iOS, on our iPad, um, and installing it on Android uh, on our Google Pixel device, uh, we're going to go to our Peeps to Go settings here in Peeps and click on Add Devices. And since we're not scanning a QR code, since it's not a phone or a tablet, we're going to go ahead and email this info. And I've got ours filled in, and it automatically fills in with your store's email address. So this will automati automatically go to uh, the email address on file for the store. And then, of course, you can override this here if you're sending it to, you know, the person that's going to configure it for you. Who are we kidding here? I'm the person that configures this for everybody. Um, but I still at least built out this screen as though if I wasn't literally doing every single one of these steps for our customers, they could come to this screen and go, oh, I can make my way through this. And, and this is one of those pieces of, hey, will you set this up for me? You know, a friend, a family member, etc. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. It verifies we actually do want to send this because we're sending somewhat, you know, private information. It's not you know, extremely private, but if we're giving people external access and if that is set up, then yeah, they would be able to connect to me and see certain things like stats and such. So just making sure we're sending it to the right person. Yes, we are. And our email's been sent. So we'll go ahead and get out of here. And then we're going to toggle over to our email uh, on our MacBook Pro. All right, so we've got our email here from from Peeps. And uh, all right, so we're over here on our MacBook Pro, and we're going to open our email and. We've got our in-store access, and we haven't configured our external access on that system, so it lets us know. Um, but here we go. We've got our QR code just in case, hey, maybe this person also does have you know, a phone with them, an iPhone, an iPad, etc. Um, but they're going to go ahead and click on this link here. So there you go. We now have peeps to go here on our MacBook Pro. And our next step is we want to make sure this is permanently installed. So we're going to click up here at the top right. And Google Chrome. We're going to click more tools and finally we're going to hit create shortcut. This is going to let us open as its own window which is exactly what we want to do here and we're going to go ahead and create peeps to go here on our MacBook. All right let's go ahead and minimize and minimize and we can do a couple of things here. We can pin In the dock, we can keep peeps to go in our dock. And now we've got our peeps to go icon permanently. And then the nice thing about this too is you can do this for each page in peeps. So here's our stats page showing us our stats for the week. Really bad week here. Oh my goodness. Sales and that sort of thing. But you're getting your daily totals here, and these refresh automatically. Thank you.